Ada, what I love me. Oh, yo, you love me. Hey guys, welcome to my world, welcome to my channel, welcome to my home. So, yes, I call it a home, you know. So, guys, in my today's video, I'll be talking to you about how to start up a, a, a drop shipping business. Yes. You don't need any money to to do this business guys you don't need any money this is drop shipping business this business is good for those in nigeria but also you in europe you can also do it in whatever country you are doesn't matter it's just online business okay so guys it's not like um you're going to invest your money or lost your money or something so this is a drop shipping business when i what do i mean by drop shipping business for those of us who doesn't understand drop shipping business drop shipping business is a business that you're doing online without investing as in the business is not yours example um you're dealing with um a host a, a wholesale seller of um a product example a cream product or clothes or hair or cars or house so you have your own customers so you don't have money to start up this business so what you do is that you advertise this product on your instagram any of social media anyways it doesn't matter if it's instagram your whatsapp your facebook your youtube or your tiktok it doesn't matter where you're advertising this product what matter is how you're going to manage it and how you're going to gain the trust from your customers that is what matters so number one step you don't just rush into it yes all you have to do is just make a research of this person this particular person you want to work with if it's someone that you can really trust or who who says um good quality of clothes or shoes or bag or hair or cars or house you know there are some people they are so fake that whatever they are selling is totally fake and they turn it to original example this is toothpick this toothpick cost example um 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 500 euros okay and some people some people will tell you this this is actually 1000 euros instead of 500 and you get it for that i'm thinking it's the original one because the original price might be 1000 and the fake price might be 500 so now you're getting it you're getting the fake one as the original one and now the worst part of it that you are not getting this product because you're ordering it directly to your customer so it's going through the the wholesale seller to your customer do you understand so now this is the two people you're working with okay you you are the middle right now mm? you're getting these goods from this person and you are transferring the goods to the other person and you are at the middle so your money is not involved you have nothing to lose but the trust that we're going to lose losing one customer is like losing thousands of euros yes so what am I trying to explain? Before you go into this business, you have to make a good research, calm your head down. It doesn't mean that because you're not investing your own money, you have to be selling rubbish to people. So now you buy from this person and you're transferring to this person. So now you're getting your own commission. So what does this person, this is your, this is your customer, okay? This person need a shoe, a shoe of 5,000 Naira. Let me use Naira, okay, example. A shoe of 5,000 Naira, and you are getting it from this person for wholesale price, 3,500 or 3,000, depending on how much, depending on the quality of what you are getting. Then now you are taking this 5,000 um, 5, Naira back to this person. So you're getting um, your own profit as 1,000 Naira or 1,005 depending on how you sell it to your customer okay so that money now is going to your account so you this person is sending the money to you you are sending it to the person and the person is transferring it direct to this person so you have to be really careful because you don't want to mess up your business and you don't want people to know that you are not the original seller of this product okay so all you have to do is to gain the trust of your customers to make sure that they keep patronizing you and also you have to be posting continuously in your social media platform wherever you are posting wherever you're advertising this product continuously posting and i want to advise you on one thing 
a lot of people, a lot of um, a lot of um, uh, business people that sell clothes or hairs or or whatever they are selling, they keep posting one picture, okay, which is very bad. Example, I want to get a, 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 a dress from you, example. And this dress, I've seen it online. This same dress, I've seen, I've seen it in different social media platforms. And when I see it, it's it like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going for this. It might be fake. You can just take the picture and upload on your on your instagram okay I, I would just think maybe it's a scam you know so you need to order for yourself mm -hmm. as a seller you need to order one product if it's cream you need to order use it post it let people know you you are using this product okay so what am i trying to say if you are selling cream example you need to buy the products and use it make a video of you using it a pictures keep posting it the, the first day you started using the the, the, the product till the very last day how how many days it take the product to work in your body if it's hair you have to make a video showing how the quality the good quality of the hair you know things like that your own original video your own original original um and picture we need to see it we don't want to see online online picture all the time in different platforms that we have the same person wearing this clothes. It's it looks so fake and trust me, no one wants to wants to go for that anymore. So make your own business, make it a a a, a different thing from others, from what we are seeing. All right, you understand. So guys, this is a very um, great opportunity for especially those in Nigeria. I'm, I don't know why I'm always saying Nigeria because I think they need this more. But, uh, they find it very, very difficult to start up a business because of lack of money. But if you start doing this gradually, believe me, you might get rich even before those that are working will get rich. So guys, all you have to do as a young girl, you need to start up something. Don't wait. Don't wait to finish your school. Don't wait to finish your um your your university or this or that before you start up something even if you are 18 15 years 12 years start up something talk to your mom mom this is what i want to go into your parents they might help you you don't this kind of business you don't need money you don't need money all you need is just to make advert advert advertise advertise what you want to go into people will start knowing you starting from your family they will start reposting your friends will start reposting before you knew it you will become a billionaire overnight you know so i i just decided to share this video because a lot of people are saying oh they don't have money but they want to do business yes you can also do business with that money that's only online business there is nobody that is going to give you goods on credit and you put in your shop you still need money to rent a shop so if you want to do online business you can do it without spending your own money all you need is just a good supplier and don't re don't don't rely on one supplier is not advisable at all you need about two to three supplier because when the supplier is out of stock and your customer is waiting the, you only have one supplier and, and that person is out of stock it's not good for your successful business you need two to three like example i i do self and uh, food stuff i don't have fish at the moment so i have to call someone else because i have just one supplier and throughout this week believe me that i don't even have fish to sell which makes my business to go down this week i lost a lot of money because why i am using just one supplier which is not advisable at all so guys take note don't be, don't rely on one supplier it's not advisable all right guys see you in my next video we have a lot to talk about our business stay tuned share this video i love you